okay welcome back to our youtube channel um today we're going to be talking about the qualifications to be to become a director in a nigerian company everybody enjoys the name director i'm a director um i'm an executive director you know so but there are qualifications really and there are disqualifications okay so the law really provides for disqualification and what that means is that if you are not disqualified then you are qualified so we're going to look at um, the disqualification for someone who wants to become a director disqualifying factors or things that can actually um, disqualify you from becoming a director in a Nigerian company but just to quickly mention that under the new companies and allied matters act 2020 you can have one director in a company all right and in fact you can also have one shareholder for a private company a small company okay so if you want to be a director what are the things you should know number one you must ensure that you are above 18 years of age if you are below 18 years of age you can't be a director i had a brief someone asked me to Add directors to his company so he has a company and he has some children so he wanted one of his in fact his first son to be a director in the company but the first son was about 17 years old he wasn't 18 yet so I advised him based on uh, the provisions of the law that someone who is 17 years old cannot become a director in Nigeria so he had to look for someone else who could step in for uh, for the little boy, all right? So if you are below 18, you can be um, a director in Nigeria, okay? So now, what other one? You cannot be a director if you are a company. So a company cannot be a director. But if a company wants to be a director, it can only be represented in the board by a member of that company or by a representative of that company so you cannot say oh mr a is a director mr b is a director then abc limited is also a director no abc limited can be represented in the board by an individual so it must be a natural person you can have an artificial person as a director in a company under the Companies and Allied Matters Act in Nigeria. Then again, if you are insane, you are a lunatic, a person of unsound mind, you cannot become a director under the Companies and Allied Matters Act applicable to all companies in Nigeria. So if you're abnormal, all right, you're insane, you're of unsound mind, can become a director then again someone who has been disqualified for offenses related to fraud all right financial mispropriety financial misappropriation and all of that if you have been um, uh, maybe convicted for a crime relating to corruption financial misappropriation let's say for example those guys that have issues with the EFCC they were arrested for being corrupt and all of that when you come out you can't become a director of a company now because the reason is really simple someone who misappropriated funds will most likely misappropriate funds again okay someone who misappropriated funds will most likely um misappropriate funds again so all of these i just mentioned are contained in section 283 of the companies and allied matters act 2020 that's a law on companies that governs companies generally in Nigeria for those of you listening from outside um, outside Nigeria so these are the grounds for disqualification all right these are the grounds for disqualification um, to become a director so if none of these if you don't fall under any of this category what it simply means is that you are qualified so if you have over 18 you are you're of a sound mind you know you are not a lunatic you don't lose your senses you are not um, um someone who has been convicted for offenses relating to financial mis 
misappropriation all right and then you are not you know someone who is um, okay of course you're, you you don't you don't own a company that you want to be do you want to make a director all right so you are a representative of a company you can stand in for the company as a director now people wonder companies directors why is a company because a company can actually be a shareholder in another company so to be represented in the board the company can appoint someone from that company to represent it in the board but that company itself as an artificial person cannot be a director in a company i hope this has been helpful please click on the subscribe button like share and make your comment in fact your questions will really help us tell us what you want us to talk about next so that we can educate you more thank you